All right, everybody, this is Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Happy Halloween. It is October 31st, 2019, and we are checking out brand new. And when I say brand new, I really mean it because when Stern makes their games, they do a timestamp on them, and it says, can't really get in there, but it says, believe me when I tell you, it says October 26th. 2019 so yeah this is five days old just came off the line the this is a first look at the brand new star wars premium edition this is the comic book edition now unfortunately we had a star wars pro but it looks like we sold it and it's off to a new home and um they just made this small limited run of these brand new artwork for Star Wars. Check this out. See, um, artist name is Randy Martinez, and he went through and redid, redid the art for the playfield. So same art for the playfield that they have, so it still has no Darth Vader and Obi-Wan and the Emperor and the behind them, stuff like that. It's got the hyperspace ramps, so this is the premium. But the back glass on this is brand new with uh, Darth Vader holding the lightsaber. Really cool. You get the villains on this one. On the original run for Star Wars, the uh, premium was Empire Strikes Back. So it had the side with, with Hoth and it had the Snow Walkers on it, which is definitely my favorite one. Unfortunately, I've never gotten to play a premium. This is the first premium. So it's got all the bounty hunters over there. You got your IG-88 and you got you to gotta have uh, Boba Fett. I'll try to get around here. We're uh, in the middle of selling a lot of games. I came in at night to get this video, but we got over here. So check it out. We got all the, the, em yeah, the Emperor. We got Grandma Tarkin. We got some snow troopers. We got this is Luke and Vader himself on there. Very, very nice. Really um, bringing back um, the good old feelings of the um, Star Wars comics that uh, Marvel Comics used to put out back in the 70s, in the early 80s. So, same exact game. They didn't, unfortunately, they didn't go through and reanimate all of the scenes from the movie. Would, would have been really cool. But, uh, it's a nice option out there. They did a very small limited run. I'm pretty sure after this, I don't think we're getting any more of these. So, we can see, this is here's the box. So, Star Wars Comic Premium. Is a Star Wars comic premium over there and a pro. Got a Ghostbusters that was just traded, and hopefully, we'll have this set up so I can get you um, a video of the new code on Ghostbusters uh, Kiss, pro, uh, Kiss, Kiss Limited Edition. Um, Elvira Limited, it's still here. Um, we sold the uh, Jurassic Park, is actually over here folded up. We had one, one customer came in, he bought the Munsters, Game of Thrones, and Jurassic Park all in one shot. That's how people get here. It's pretty insane. People just come and they want to get a ton of games. So we got it from in spades. So it's been a while since we played it. This is uh, running on the uh, most current code update, which is 1.15, I believe it is. So um, if you've played um, Star Wars before in the past, there was um, people used to uh, pick R2-D2, and you were able to get just get a ton of multipliers and stack up the multipliers. I mostly play as Han Solo because um, Han Solo has some of the harder missions. He already has them complete. Like if uh, you basically just have to do the video mod, the uh, video mode for Hoth, and then you can go right into the um, two ball Hoth multi ball because it's it's this game is um, they they went really in depth with it. Kind of it's um, from I'm forgetting the um, designer's name, but he also did the code for Game of Thrones, which is Dwight Sullivan, as I just remember. So basically, you have still select from four of the main characters, Han, Leia, RTD2, and and Luke Skywalker, and each of them have different modes that they have to do uh, corresponding where they were in the movie. So certain characters like, you know, RTD2 has to do like certain stuff for Escape from Tatooine, and Escape from the Death Star, some, some of them like, you know, Han Solo, there's stuff that's already done, like, you know, if you pick Han Solo, you have to do all three missions for Escape the Death Star, but if you're doing Escape from Tatooine, you only have to do the third one, which was, you know, on the skip when uh, you're 
trying to escape from Jabba because, you know, he was frozen. So they kind of did it where, you know, tried to follow along with the movie. Really, really good stuff. So, you know, it's got the extra um, Millennium Falcon toy and, of course, the hyperspace ramp with the pitchforks of death. I hate these things that poke up here for the Death Star that feed the hyperspace ramp, which is pretty much if you played the um, Steve Ritchie's other game, um, the Getaway High Speed 2, it's the supercharger. So over here behind where it has the Star Destroyer is um, the magnets that uh, propel the ball on the play field. And you have to get a nice clean shot right up that fork. It's a problem that I've had playing every Star Wars Premium or Limited Edition. So I've rambled on long enough. Let's hopefully we get a good game and we're going to try out the brand new Star Wars Premium Comic Book Edition here at the Pinball Dudes 880 Jupiter Park Drive. Let's go check it out, and let's see if we can beat the king on his own game. Let's check it out. All right, boys and girls, hopefully that's a good angle on the camera. Like I said, unfortunately, we're still working on trying to get more, um, trying to get more, like, a camera apparatus to have, like, the top to be, like, a sh mostly, like, the streamer sites. You no, know, even if I can't stream from here, I can at least, you know, do some, uh, get, get some better camera angles for you guys. I feel bad. I'm still using the same one camera setup and everybody's got you know three to four camera setups now online so let's we just put them in free play let's go so it'll say right off the bat it'll say select your hero and it says what they're strong with so luke is strong with the force obviously um there's a force there's a jedi multiple that you can get to r2d2 has the multipliers so you can see you know 3x bolt modus multipliers 3x shot multipliers They've nerfed that um, since the um, previous game. Princess Leia. Princess Leia, it says strong with missions. She's got to do a lot of missions. So you've got like all three ones for Battle of Hoth, all three, uh, two of the Death Star ones, one from Tatooine and stuff like that. If you're good at doing the modes and stuff like that, Princess Leia is the character to pick because she can do a lot of the missions and she gets big bonuses for doing that. Captain Solo. And Han Solo, it's Harrison Ford, why not? Um, you can do, um, there's an escape from Boba Fett mode in it that he um, is good at that. You can always light escape from Boba Fett, and that's one shot on the thing you have to do to escape from Boba Fett. It qualifies for uh, one of the final modes. And the one thing also is Luke and Han are really good at destroying TIE Fighters, because one of the mini modes in the game is a TIE Fighter multi-ball, where you, obviously, you hit the TIE Fighter, and you get um, a ton of points. So I want to do um, the Tatooine missions, which are the, the scoop shot on the right. It's a hard shot to hit, and if I do this, it'll automatically light um, escape from Tatooine. Joey here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan system. We're good. We got our... It's qualified right off the bat. All saved! I'm going to try to go for the um, that little mini um, scoop shot for Hawk. And try not to drain it. Looks like it feels like it's leaning um, a little to the right. Like I said, we literally just hooked this up. So we're gonna light the Endor missions. Well, let's get some Tie Fighters. So now we get the Tie Fighter. Hurry up! Where you use the button on the apron. So we hit it. Mash the button like crazy, because you need 35 to start the multi ball. And that's not going to get the ball back to us. <laughs> so I got green. So let's get some more TIE Fighters. So we need to get a... To like video mode. Please get the uh, TIE Fighter multi-ball on camera. Off is lit. So you hear off is lit. And since I'm playing as Han Solo, all I have to do is navigate the asteroid You're field. You're not actually going into an asteroid field. They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? So we get automatically you get the video mode. The odds of us surviving this are 1,000 miles. The video mode, you tap the middle button to accelerate, and turn the uh, Millennium Falcon blue, and then you gotta go through the asteroid field. Try not to hit anything like that. Now this is a game if you um, you spend the money and you get the shaker in it. When you play this mode and you hit those asteroids, it shakes the entire machine. Really, really cool effect to it. Hopefully we can uh, put one in just for uh, while we have it. Alright. Get 
bouncing out of the hot spot. But we got the escape thing that's lit. That's one of the things I forgot to mention on the premiums and the uh, limited edition. It's got the, um, the cool little um, thing for, um, it says, May the Force Be With You, that um, comes out and it rescues the ball on the pros. It's just There's a, a fleet of Star Destroyers coming out of hyperspace in Sector 4. The escape pod multi-ball mode. Like I said, Han Solo only has to do... We got to shoot the Death Star, so we got to right that ramp. We got, we got TIE Fighter Multiball. TIE Fighter Multiball! I'll take it. I could have got the actor's name, but um, I mentioned it before in the other, um, the other videos of uh, when I did Star Wars. Um, they got the actor who um, played um, the announcer for the uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. And he's also uh, Professor Newtonian from Powerpuff Girls. He, has, uh, he did the voice. The big voice. You know, ride right that hyperspace ramp. Bonus. Well done! You may now enter your initials. It's nice to have to, uh, them do the voice. They had um, Anthony Daniels did a couple of voices for it as uh, as C3PO. Tie Fighter Champion! Han Champion! really shaped up after uh, Dwight put the uh, code update in. I know there was a lot of people complained about certain things on it, but Remember. let's go for another game. Alright, let's do, uh, let's see what Luke is good at. Wow, R2-D2, Princess Leia, Captain No, Sutter. I'm going to try for um, R2-D2 because I want to destroy the Death Star. I have yet to blow up the Death Star. Especially on the premium, this is a reason why I didn't like playing Star Wars. Was that was the one shot that I would always go for? Just try to do the Death Star. So we got the Death Star lit, and when you play as R2D2, all you have to do is the first Death Star mode. Here we go. I think these multiple builds up. So we got to rescue the princess. Let's go. Complete four hurry up shots. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue. Look at that hair. Oof. What uh, Mark Hamill said in a, uh, I said I wish they could digitally remaster my hair. <laughs> that was garbage. Let's get better. Let's do better. So yeah, that's the thing that you can do is R2D2. You can actually have a thing where it's plus five percent of your score. So if you have like a couple of billion, yeah, you get five percent of a billion. Let's go. We're gonna get some Tie Fighters. I want to get those. I want to have a nice Tie Fighter bolt. This is our rescue. Get greedy. Just yeah. bump the damn game. And then Frank Oz gets to make fun of me. Go for more. More TIE Fighters. When you came in here, did you have a plan for getting out? Fine, you sweetheart. Look back to yourself. <laughs> Get the scoop shots, the mystery. Absolutely, your worship. Get those different uh, pop bumpers. Only the 
pop bumpers in this game sound like the pop bumpers in a Star Wars. So I don't know what they use. Get the shot. Destroy the goddamn Death Star. Let's do it. Complete the Death Star round. So we gotta do this as a multi -play. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get it on camera. We're gonna blow up that goddamn Death Star. Awesome. We got the multi ball. I'm gonna stop hitting the button. Up the Death Star with our Tide Fighter. It's the force, right? Oh, come on. Bolt down the right. That's not what I wanted at all. Yeah, that's the you must You gotta do the shots and then the Death Star shots let. Then when you ride it around the Death Star explodes and on, like I said, on the premium and the limited edition, it actually splits open and has a uh, cool little light effect in there to make it look like you blew it up. Really cool effect that uh, I've seen it done before in person, but I've never done it myself. Hopefully one day I will do it myself. We got the TIE Fighter Champion. Death Star Champion. And the 6 million. R2-D2 Champion. Oh yeah, there you go. So folks, that is a look at the brand new, <laughs> five days old, premium comic book edition of Remember, Star Wars. The force will be with you. Once again, I am Nick. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the pinball dudes of Jupiter, Florida for having me. If you guys want to check this game out, I highly recommend that um, you come in and get it while it's still here because I don't know if they're going to be uh, really producing any more of it. You we were told, like I said in the beginning of the video, very short, limited run. It's a treat to get to play it today. I'm, it looks absolutely beautiful. It does the videos and the screenshots that you've seen on the internet do it absolutely no justice. You have to see it in person. And I'll be here on Saturday, so you guys can give it a play. Alright guys, thank you very much. And be sure to check out more of our videos here. You know, smash the like button, click the bell, subscribe, do all that crap that people on YouTube tell you to do. I don't like to tell you that because it's all down to YouTube's algorithm and they don't give a crap about my channel. So that's what happens. Alright, take care.